Previously on Lion Moms. I don't know what you want, but you better not show that video to anyone. How can you still hang out with him after what he did to you? Who is he? He's from Westgate High and super cute and super popular. Don't you think it's a bit weird that he wants you to wear a Snow White costume to a first date? I can't believe you fell for it. <laughs> what a dummy. I'm asking you to be with me. Because you're scared to go to KL? Please don't put that on me. No, of course not. I'm not doing this. Kyra's DNA results should come through in a day or two. KP Ho won't be able to play his games anymore. So I found you a job. You start on Tuesday. Wear something nice, no t-shirts, okay? I've only got a few questions. Why do a paternity test? KP Ho is not the father. Did you see the news last night? A scandal involving Miss Chang? A secret child. A disabled girl that she's hidden away. I saw her in my own eyes. How could anyone be ashamed of their own child? It's sad. She didn't have the child by choice. She claimed she was, you know, forced when she was underage. By none other than KP Ho. Mine was father. That's what she says. But the paternity test came back. And he's not the father. Good morning. Well, I'm surprised you dare to show your face around here. Good morning, Mrs. Wang. I've been speaking with the other parents. With all in the news, I think it might be best that you stay away from Charleston. It's for the good of the children, you know. Mrs. Wang, I am the principal and I will continue doing my job. As always, your children's well-being is my top priority. <sighs> then what about your own child's well-being, Miss Chang? A secret child. A scandal in the media. Do you honestly think that you are fit to be a principal for a school like Charleston? If you don't listen to reason. I know people at the Education Authority will hear my complaint. I can't say goodbye to the feeling I've hit the ceiling one more time. Keep aiming high, always reaching for the They have the best smoothies in Singapore. We can get this one, right? Good luck. You'll be great. Thanks. I mean, it's not like I have much of a choice for other places rejected my applications, but maybe Mom did good this time. What? Well, we're waiting to hear about some other good news. Indian marker sitting on a tree. K-I-S-S-I -S -S It's not happening anymore. What? Why? Well, I told him that I want to be with him. And... He... You know what? It's, it's fine. It's for the best. Well, you took a while to realise what you really wanted, mean. So maybe Marcus just needs some time too. Yeah, maybe he wasn't expecting it, you know? That's why he had a bad reaction. Thanks for making me sound like a disease. No, you, you know what I mean, right? And you said you're going to fight for him, so fight. Did you even tell him that you love him? I've been showing him for months. That's right, you can expect him to know. Yeah. Oh, Grace is calling me. I gotta go. Hey, seriously, think about it, Min. Because this is obviously more than just a crush or a fling. If this ship goes down in flames, then you better say what you want to say before the fat lady sings. That's the worst mixed metaphor I've ever heard. <laughs> Ooh, that new Lauren Belize movie is out. Remember the rom-com I told you about? Let's go see it, Luki. Uh, yeah, sure. You know she broke up with Mickey G, right? I was so heartbroken. They look so perfect together. Yeah, sure. You're not listening to me. You've been distracted the entire week. Always with that annoying look on your face. You know, I'm starting to think you should just ask Mars to be your girlfriend. 
You both have that low look all the time. I should ever be my girlfriend. And I'm with you, obviously. Thank you. Have a fruity day. Hi, welcome to Fruit Cute. Hi, I'm supposed to start at Fruit Cute today. Uh, is the head office nearby? Are you homie? Yes, nice to meet you. No. Toilets are behind the building. Make sure you wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Don't use a hand dryer. It's full of bacteria. It's just... Sorry, uh, this is supposed to be an office job. Uh, maybe there's some mistake? I'm sorry. You think that just because your friends with some big shot you can skip your way up the ladder? That's not the fruit cube way. We're all equals here, Missy. You either start here or you don't start at all. I'm giving you five minutes to change or I'm clocking you as late. I found assessment papers which he marked and he even signed them. And this... It's a letter he wrote to my mom. This proves that we had contact when Kara was conceived. It's a good start. But this doesn't prove that he did anything wrong, Grace. It doesn't prove that he is Kyra's father. How about the other lab? The independent one you asked to review Kyra's paternity test? They they verified him. They couldn't find anything amiss. I don't understand how this is happening. The National Education Authority wants to see me. What? It's probably got to do with Mrs Wang's complaint. She wants me to resign. That woman's a vulture. It's probably just procedure. They need to look into these things, no matter how ridiculous. I have to worry about it later. Kyra's home wants to meet me. Somewhere out there is a piece of evidence that will get him. And I'm not going to stop until I find it. And the chest should be flat, like a guy. Unless you're Tim, he's got like more boobs than me. Her hair's much flatter than that, and short legs. There. I'm starting a poll. Who wants to date Margaret Lien? Oh my god, that's genius. Post it. Done. Tell everyone to start sharing. Hi, Mom. Hey, Min. How did it go? What are you wearing? When you said Auntie Annie's daughter's company made smoothies, I didn't think I'd actually be making smoothies. <laughs> You were working at the shop. Let me chat with Annie. I think her daughter's away. No, it's fine. I don't want to make any trouble. Besides, the supervisor doesn't like me as it is. Min, don't be so negative. Maybe they're just letting you get to know the product first before moving you to the office. I think it's a good approach. Very modern. Just do your best. Don't worry, Mom. I won't embarrass you in front of your mahjong khakis. Min, that's not what I... Bye, Dad. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Marcus! Hi, Auntie. I'm just dropping Kai off. I gotta run. Oh! Won't you stay for dinner? I'm cooking your favourite. Um, I'm actually meeting someone. Um, maybe next time? Yeah, bye. Bye. What is going on with the both of you? Did you say something to him? Why do you always assume it's my fault?
Is Uncle Mayhem still sleeping in the room? He says the snoring keeps mom awake. I think it's my fault. What? Why? Mommy said I eat too much and Uncle Behan got angry. <laughs> it's definitely not your fault, Henry. Parents fight all the time and it's normal. Like, Mommy and Daddy when they got divorced? No, definitely not. It's more like when friends argue. Even best friends fight sometimes. Like when your friend sent embarrassing pictures of you to everyone at school? How do you know about that? Jade's sister goes to Anson. She told me, Why were you wearing a fairy tale costume in public? Why don't you tell Jade to mind her own... <gasps> oh, sorry. Uh, I was going to wait. I better go gonna... change. That was weird. Yeah, I have another peanut butter sandwich. Thank you. There's this new lunch place that opened last week. Just hit. If this ship goes down in flames, then you better say what you want to say before the fat lady sings. Hey! Huh? Hey, never watch where I'm going! I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Min? Hi. What are you doing here? Uh, go, oh, I forgot your clinic's nearby. No, nothing much, just um, um, getting fruit. You work in a fruit shop? Marcus, is everything all right? You know, I should get back. Have a nice lunch. Oh, Auntie, I'm sorry. Sorry. Um. Especially when we want to understand why she did the paternity test when it's a negative result. I know. It doesn't make sense. Why does she want to accuse him? Right? Yeah, I'm not sure. There she is. Miss Chang, Miss Chang, Miss Chang. Wait, Miss Chang, hold up. Just one second Ms. only, Miss Chang. The parents of your school had the right to know the truth, Miss Chang. Let us go, Miss Chang. Miss Chang. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Sorry to startle you. Can we talk? What's wrong? Is Kara alright? She's alright. Although we need to discuss her future here. Who we names their daughter Margaret these days? <laughs> it's such an old auntie name. <laughs> Dude, add her on the legs and on the armpit. <laughs> I bet she doesn't shave. Oh my gosh, this is so gross. I guess stop that. Stop what? Commenting on everything about her. It's not okay. Do you guys shave your armpits? Well, if you like her so much, why don't you just put your name down? No one else has. He can't. He doesn't have the snapper ground his dinosaur phone. An old uncle for an old auntie. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? This. I know it's been difficult, but it'll die down soon. The media will move on. Sorry, Miss Chang. The reporters, the cameras, it's too much. The parents have started to complain. But she's settled here. She's happy. Please don't make me move her. The board has already decided. Kara will have to leave. Hi, Auntie. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. This is about you. You're an idiot. We need to talk. Okay. Um. I want to know what is going on between you and my daughter. Nothing. 
And why not? I'm sorry, but I don't feel comfortable discussing this with you. You two are closer than ever now. And neither of you is dating anyone else. A lot has changed in the last 12 years. Yes, but some things have remained the same, haven't they? Look, I heard what she said to you. And what you replied. Why would you do that? The only reason why she said that is because I'm the only guy for her here now. You really can't believe that? She turned out the KL job so that she could stay here with you and Kai. You have been there for her all this time. You know her better than anyone else. And you're still in love with her even after all these years. Am I wrong? How I feel is irrelevant. Why? Because... Marcus, you finally have the chance to get everything you've always wanted. What are you so afraid of? When you imagine your future, then 30 years from now, what do you see? Kai? All grown up? Maybe with kids of his own? But at Chinese New Year and, and holidays, who else do you see there with you? You and another woman? Min and her husband? Is that what you really want for your future? Marcus, we don't always get second chances. You have to ask yourself, is your fear of getting hurt really worth losing her all over again? I mean, um, thank you. Have a fruity day. Do you need a refresher for everything I taught you during orientation? Because if you do, you better let me know now. I'm not going to always be here. No, I'm okay. Wait, why not? Where are you going? This is my last week. I've quit. Wh why? Because it's time. My fiancé and I, we just put a down payment for our BTO and we had a wedding to pay for. As much as I love it here, I've got to move on for myself and my family. I guess there are some things a chico mango smoothie just can't cure. Hey, stop daydreaming. All those fruits need to be skinned, clean and chopped. Go! Attention, everyone. As most of you know, there's been a poll going around for Miss Margaret Lian. And now, we're going to announce the results. While we didn't have any roses for this bachelorette, we did get lots of constructive comments. Let me read some. She should wear the Snow White costume all the time. Better than looking at the real thing. Good one. <laughs> The only thing worse than a nerd is a fat nerd. Ooh, harsh, but accurate. <laughs> Lucas! Hi, Mom. Hey! What are the two of you doing here? Well, I thought we should come and support you at work. Lynn, you can go back now. 
go. Aren't you supposed to be here until 6? I asked to leave early. There's some stuff I have to take care of. <sighs> Min, it's only your third day and you're leaving early. Be careful, man. Jobs don't grow on trees for people like you. People like me? Wow. Don't be so dramatic. All I'm saying is I had to pull some strings to get you this job. I don't want Auntie Annie to think that... I think why? That I'm a lazy, useless convict? I promise, okay? I'll control my reckless criminal impulses. And maybe you should control that temper of yours as well. Maybe that's the reason why you haven't been able to hold down a job since you got out. So it's my fault again? Well, you know what? Maybe I should have just stayed in prison instead of coming out and failing you over and over again. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just trying to help. Oh, well, you're not being helpful. You're being an interfering, judgmental nag. If you want to help, just leave me alone. Stop shouting at Grandma. It's okay. It's okay. Lucas, hi. Did you have something to say about Margaret too? I hope it's not too late to make a few last-minute additions. What are you doing? Anyone wants to date Amy? Anyone? Because I'm done. They don't want it with me. Dude, did he just break up with her? Dude, that's brutal, man. You need to leave me out of this. I'm not willing to be part of your escape plan, backup plan, or whatever. Lucas, is everything alright? As much as I love it here, I've got to let go. Move on with my life. Asking you to be with me. What do you say? What are you so afraid of? We don't always get second chances, Marcus. Hi. Have you had time to look at the contracts? Yep, just finished. You're safe now, Grace. They can't kick Kyra out without a sound medical reason. And it says here that they will need to give two months' notice if they wish to terminate. So we have two months to sort this out? Yep, I'm going to call the home now and introduce myself. Oh, oh, I'm so, so sorry. I'm, I'm so clumsy. It was my fault. I, I wasn't looking. I'm afraid parents are not allowed on school grounds unless you have an appointment. <laughs> I'm flattered that you think I'm young enough to have Primary school children? <laughs> no, Miss Chow. I'm from Nia. Nia? <laughs> yes. N-E-A. National Education Authority. Superintendent Charles. Hello? Grace? Hello? I'll have to call you back. Min! If I could start over again Then maybe I will not pretend That all these years I've hit my face Marcus? It's me, can we talk? If I could start over again Then I'd be different than I've Okay.
มินีโฮมินีเพราะว่าเธอเป็นคนที่ I, I thought that maybe there was a chance, you know, for something more between us. But I'm, I'm glad that you're happy and and you've moved on. I just, I just wanted to tell you that. But I love you. But I'm letting you go. I'm never, ever letting you let me go again. Get a bigger bag to carry all your things, but then you can never find the things you need to carry. A oh, vicious cycle. <laughs> Superintendent. Oh, please, Charles. No need to be so formal. <laughs> Charles, if this is about a complaint from Mrs. Wang, I can assure you that I keep my personal life strictly separate from my duties. Excellent. My granddaughter loves this cartoon. <laughs> Uh, go on. You were talking about your personal life. I've always been upfront with the authorities, and my work here at Charleston is my top priority. If I ever felt that I was unsuitable, I understand there's been some media coverage. Oh no doubt. This is the reason why Nia sent me. It's my job application. This is more than a decade old. Enough to make you feel old, right? <laughs> I'm not sure what this has got to do with. Question 14. Family and marital status. I'm afraid I still don't. Yes. Back then, we asked our scholars to declare. Their family status to ascertain if they can commit to their studies. You put down as single and without children. Yes, I see that. <laughs> yes, your personal life is your own business, as long as it doesn't interfere with your professional duties. But your declarations to Nia, those are my business. You will need to submit a written report. Based on that, Nia will decide whether to open a formal integrity inquiry. I would consider your response 
very carefully, Miss Chung. It was so embarrassing. How can he be so mean to me? It's okay. Now you can date Brendan. You've always said he's better looking than Lucas. Mickey, no one will want me now. Do you have a boyfriend? Is that what you've been keeping from me while you're sneaking around? What? No! Stop lying to me! Either you tell me what's going on or you're grounded in this house until you do. He wasn't my boyfriend! He wasn't even a boy! <sighs> what do you mean? account and pretended to be a boy interested in me. We chatted for weeks and it was fake. I arranged a meet up and asked me to dress up. But then took photos and sent it to the entire school. Who's they? My friends! Amy, Nikki, Lily. Oh, they're not your friends. Some cultures, staring is creepy, right? <laughs> no, I was, uh, I was just wondering, what made you change your mind about us? I mean, you were pretty quick to reject me a few days ago. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. No, you weren't, you weren't wrong. I mean, I have hurt you before. Your mom said I was scared. My mom? Yeah, she came over and. Give me a big dressing down. What's wrong? I might have um, gotten into a really big fight with her before coming over yesterday. You haven't told her yet? Well, it's not my fault. She was showering when I, when I snuck out of there. Very brave. I'll have to make it up to her after work. Uh, apologizing to my mom is the worst. You live. Thanks for your support. <laughs> oh, I've got to get to work. See you later. Today mm, is gonna be a good day. Thank you. Have a fruity day. Hi, ma'am. How can I help you? Uh, hi. Can I have an orange and mango smoothie? Orange and mango. Excellent choice. Orange and mango, please. That will be six fifty. Today. There you go. I'll be right with you. It took me like two weeks then finally to chill. Now it's a whole lot better. I think maybe one, two weeks more, she should be okay. So she's made improvement at least? Definitely. 
maybe you can go get her for me? Sure. See, I want to speak with you. Who? Oh. Just go home. Okay. One uh, orange mango smoothie for the lady. One orange mango smoothie. Coming up. You're Min Yi? Yeah. Hi, I'm Si An. Annie's daughter. Oh, hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Have a seat. I was away on retreat the whole of last week. Otherwise, I would have made sure you'd been properly settled in. I hope Kevin hasn't been too rough on you. He can be a little bit, um, <clears throat> overzealous. <laughs> but he's passionate about the business. And it's a pity he's leaving. He's been great. Um, I've learned a lot about fruit from him. <laughs> I'm glad. Look, it's important to us that all new hires work at the store for at least a week, no matter how senior they are. Helps them to get a feel of the business and to see how much they want in. Wait, so I won't be here permanently? No, of course not. Look, I don't like to hire people based on connections, but Auntie Emmy was persistent. She said I'll be making the biggest mistake if I don't hire you. So I looked you up and saw how you made yourself after having a child and worked your way back up from the bottom. Actually, you're the exact kind of person that we look for here at FruitQ. Hardworking, innovative and a total go-getter. I want your skills in my marketing team. Take the rest of the day off to think about it. Auntie Emmy made some hefty promises to my mom. I'd hate to see it come to nothing. Promises? She agreed to clean up duty after the mahjong sessions for a year. And 10 boxes of a homemade pineapple tarts at Chinese New Year. My mom drives a pretty hard bargain. That's where I get it from. <laughs> When I was her age, we didn't have social media. But some girls I thought were my friends turned on me. They spread gossip about me. Untrue things. It was horrible. So what did you do? I just focused on my studies and not worry about friends. I wish I was brave like you. It wasn't brave. It was my way of running away from problems. Fixing things and making friends seemed hard and scary, so I stopped trying. It was smart. At least you didn't get hurt again. How about I reply to this Lucas and give him a hard time for you? Lucas? Dear Margaret, I'm sorry I don't want to mess around anymore. So I'm going to be honest. I like you. Mm. Dear Lucas, I hope you step on the pool. Mommy, it's okay. You don't have to do this. I, I feel better now. You sure? Mm-hmm. So all school? Good. Okay, let's go. Hey. Oh, you're here. Look, Kai, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about yesterday. You were right. I shouldn't have yelled at Grandma. Mom and I were wondering whether you can help us with something very important. Only if you can keep a secret. Mm-hmm. Of 
course I can. Tell us everything you know about Grandma. Huh? It's like Chinese New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Milk and gula malaka piece are gonna go great <laughs> and smoothie. Are these okay? Perfect. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Uncle, yes. uh, can I have three tau suan and two grass jelly? Yes. Thank you. These are our favorites. I can't wait to see her face later. Tell her that you're sorry and not have to shout at anyone. Are you okay? I heard crying. Why can't you just leave me alone? I'm fine. Why don't you tell Ryan to just leave you alone? That's why you're crying, isn't it? Jasmine, wait. I'm... I'm sorry. I... I know what it feels like when you're uncomfortable with what someone's doing, but you don't know how to ask them to stop. I just want to help. Please, just tell me what to do. Why are you pretending to be my friend? You're not my friend. Last year, I had nobody. No one wanted to talk to me. And now Ryan does. And you're ruining it all. Hey, Jasmine. There you are. I've been looking for you. I wanted to show you that cool spot in the school, behind the hall. Let's just stay in the canteen. I'm hungry. I'll buy you some food later. I really wanted to show you this. Hi, Jasmine. Ready to go? Huh? Go where? I said I'd help Jasmine with her homework. We're gonna hang out after school. All afternoon. Right, Jasmine? Uh... Jasmine's hanging out with me all afternoon. Maybe she doesn't want to hang out with you all the time. She does have other friends too, you know? Did you tell her that you don't want to spend any more time with me? No. Come on, let's go. And now for your SNC news updates. Prominent businessman and philanthropist KP Ho addressed the press today and said that the recently released paternity test has proved that he is innocent of sexual misconduct. I want to thank my family and my friends who have stood by me through this difficult time. And, well, this, this result proves what we've known all along, that I'm an innocent man. Thank you. Thank you. Mr Ho said he has suffered significant emotional and financial damage from the allegations and is exploring his legal options. Ms. Chung, there's someone here to see you. Tell them I'm busy, please. Nabila! Is anything wrong? I'm sorry. You said I could talk to you. I, I need to show you something. Maybe she's busy. Let me set up so we can surprise her. Hmm? Okay. Oh, good idea. Kai, you help Dad, okay? I'll be fine. Thank you. Mom? Why? Mom? Why would you leave this?